Good afternoon, Gio. Thanks for joining us. Uh, would you like to start with your thoughts on Saturday's match at Minnesota? Yeah, so we, um, we've we been practicing well this week, um, preparing for this difficult match. Uh, as, as always, and I keep on saying, we have to take one game at a time, pre prepare well, and stay competitive. And uh, now we're playing a team that is coming also from a, a few good results um, that uh, definitely um, will be competitive. And, uh, and I think it's going to be a great match um, between two teams that uh, have changed the mentality in the second part of the season and, and I think are going to put together a, a, good, uh, a good game. Thank you. We'll go to questions, beginning with Sam Spiller, Stump Down Footy. Go ahead, Sam. Looks like we lost Sam there. Sam, can you hear us? We'll go to Orlando. Just a second here. Go ahead, Orlando. All right, there we go. Appreciate the time, Coach. Um, you know, big announcement yesterday, the uh, signing of a, of a new defender. Can you just um, give us some insight into, into the process like about him? Why, why you decided that he was the, the right player to bring into the Portland Timbers? And then ultimately, um, what are your expectations for him? So, Orlando, uh, hi, how are you? Um, I, the, the question, uh, I couldn't hear well everything, but I, if I understood correctly, some other part, uh, that is about Juan Mosquera and uh, uh, him coming to Portland. So we um, are excited, you know, to add up uh, another player, a player that is young, a player that um, has uh, great attributes, athletic, uh, he's fast, he's strong, um, and he has a, a, a high ceiling to be able to grow and and be able to, to become another interesting player like Ayala, like Moreno, like Bravo, and these players, young players that have been coming now uh, to the Portland Timbers. And we've seen the development of these players. Moreno this year, we've seen uh, Bravo, the way he's playing. Ayala is, is growing and, and developing as well. Uh, so Juan Mosquera will be another addition uh, that I think will uh, make our team more competitive and and uh, and he's very excited. He was looking forward, and uh, and soon he will be with us as well. Any more questions for Gio? We'll go back to Sam. Go ahead, Sam. Sam, I think you're on mute. We're unable to hear you. Can you, can you, you go ahead. Sorry about that. Can you hear me okay now? Yep. You're Perfect. Good. Yes. Yeah. So sorry about that technical. No problem. Uh, no problem. Um, <laughs> you mentioned earlier, Minnesota is a team that's in pretty good form. Um, they've been kind of powered by Emmanuel Reynoso recently. He's in a good run of form himself. Last year, your team did a pretty good job of limiting his influence in the playoffs. Uh, what's the key to continuing to do so, you know, this weekend um, when, you, when you travel to Minnesota? First, we have prepared with him on the field, um, and we have prepared without him on the field. As we saw last game against Houston, um, they play 4-3-3. Uh, usually they play 4-2-3-1 when Reynoso is uh, available. So we have uh, prepared for both uh, possibilities. Um, and we know Reynoso um, is, is a game changer, someone that can uh, uh, make very good plays, uh, that can see things uh, and execute a, at a fast pace. And, and we always have to make sure that uh, we are aware of that. And, and we've done a good job to, to make sure that uh, we close some spaces for him. Um, but uh, we have to always, you know, put a new work in. Uh, and if he's not on the field, uh, then I know that they still have a, a very good team with some changes that they have made for some of the injuries that, that they have. Uh, and we also uh, have put together a plan in place in, in that case. So we expect a competitive match. I know they expect the same thing. And I think that's why this is, uh, you know, a very good game. 
back to Sam. Go ahead, Sam. Thanks. And just one quick follow-up, Gio, if you could give an update just on, on the health of the squad, any player and availabilities, uh, particularly uh, Eric Williamson, you mentioned last week, had to come off a little bit of hamstring tightness. Uh, any updates you can share there? Yes. Uh, so Eric is not available. He's not going to be traveling with us. Um, but it is, is, uh, um, is going to be uh, questionable. Um, and uh, the majority of the guys uh, are in a good place to be able to play. Uh, so um, it's unfortunate uh, that Eric is not allowed to be able to travel uh, just because of what he's feeling. But also uh, in the evaluation and what we have seen, it seems that it's something that should be pretty quickly. Um, and uh, we'll stay focused on that and make sure that we keep on working uh, with him in, in order to make sure that he's available again. Orlando, go ahead. Yeah, Coach, with the uh, defense going in each week now, we start to look at the standings a little closer. Um, what have you thought about the competitiveness of the West, knowing that four points separates eighth from third place in the standings? Yeah, so if I understood correctly, uh, we feel, yes, definitely better in uh, – in the position that we are right now uh, on the table, uh, not comfortable. We never have to feel comfortable, even if we were support shield, uh, because you always have to make sure that you put the work in. Um, and especially for us, uh, due to the fact that we had done well so far to put ourselves in a better situation, we have to make sure that we stay focusing in the work, focusing and that each game we want to accumulate points in order to continue to, to get there. And as you said, um, there's uh, a lot of teams in, in a matter of a few points uh, from third place all the way to ninth, eighth, ninth. So uh, it's a very, West, you know, very competitive West Conference um, region that we have to make sure that we are preparing every game to continue to accumulate and, and uh, you know, God willing, in the next, the next three ma matches, we we can get some good results. We can put ourselves in a very good situation. But uh, we have to take it one game at a time. And, and uh, you know, it's the same thing that all the other teams are thinking as well.